In this lesson, we're going to concentrate on the different audio implementations and how we can switch those through console variables. We're also going to look at how we can get the audio debug information to show inside of your perspective viewport, so then you can know which implementation is being used. So in this level, I have pit underscore blank, and actually we're not going to add anything to it. We're strictly working within the console of this tutorial. So let's get over to the console and type in the debug draw first. So let's go to s underscore draw, and we're actually after the first one that pops up, which is s underscore draw audio debug. I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to hit 1. And in doing that, we can see that we have the debug information up top here, and the audio translation layer is actually wise. So the next thing that we need to do is we want to switch to fmod or SDL mixer, because those are the other implementations that we can use. So if we go to WISE, or over here on the side, and we want to switch it, we can do IMPL, and quickly we will be able to see what the S underscore audio implementation name is. So I'm going to highlight that, and you'll notice on the side here it says Cry Audio IMPL WISE. Let's go ahead and repeat the first part, and instead of typing in WISE at the end, let's type in uppercase F M O D. And we're going to press enter now. And now we can see that the ATL is switched to the F FMOD Studio, which is exactly the system that we wanted to change to. And the last one we're going to do is the STL Mixer, which is our homebrew or in-house solution that we use. So I'm going to type in IMPL again, because it's the most random one we can find. And then we're going to type in cry audio IMPL. And this time we're going to do SDLM in caps and then IXER to switch to the mixer. Now we'll see that the audio translation layer is the SDL mixer, and we have successfully switched between WISE, FMOD, and the SDL. Now keep this in mind, we've just done this in the console, but if you want to use this inside of your game and make sure it switches to the proper implementation, you're going to want to nest this audio implementation inside of your config file for that level or game in a whole. So, now that you know this information, you can go and not only debug, but also switch to the SDL Mixer, WISE, or FMOD for your audio implementation.